I'm back with another video. So today we're gonna to be doing this challenge. Um, I actually got it from my friend. So shout out to Regine. Make sure y'all subscribe to her YouTube channel. I'll put it down below. But I got this idea from my friend named Regine, and it's it depends on your age. So I'm 15 years old. So it's 15 year old what did 15 year old learn out of her 15 years okay so oh wait y'all see my shirt so my mom actually makes shirts she got her own brand so if you want to get a shirt make sure y'all dm jaded muse i'll actually put the description i'm gonna put her link down below and i'm gonna put her at at the bottom so yeah go and get y'all shirts DM her or if y'all wanna get y'all shirts made for y'all business, um, anything, make sure y'all contact her. But yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I learned out of my 15 years is that everyone isn't your friend because I had a lot of friends that left and stopped being my friends i had friends that did things behind my back and what else i had friends that been spreading stuff about me that wasn't true even my sixth grade year but yeah everybody is not your friend that's what i had to learn and it took me a long time to learn that because when i tell y'all now like i'm in ninth grade now and it's so hard for people to be my friend now like i'll talk to you i'll be nice to you but you ain't gonna know my business you're not yeah like we barely gonna talk like i may comment on your pictures and stuff like that but that doesn't mean that you're friends that just means that there's no problem we cool and yeah, but we're not friends. Friends, mm -mm. at this point, friends is really just a title. It's not even. If I call you my friend, it's because, like, no. All right. Let me start over. My, when I say I don't have friends, which I don't have friends, it's because the people that are my friends is really like family. So, I don't really claim them as my friends. Like, I call, like, my closest peers, I call them, like, sister, brother. Um, yeah. But, all right, next one. Second thing I learned is don't let no boy talk you into doing nothing that you don't want to do. Because I definitely went through that stage where i let what i only have it one time but i let a person talk me into doing something that i didn't want to do and it's not even just a boy a girl it don't matter don't let nobody talk you into doing something that you don't want to do and when you do that when somebody forces you to do something it puts you through a lot like mentally like i went through something like real fun but next thing for me what else have i learned listen to your mother or your parents period like if they tell you something right trust me they know what they're talking about because i mean y'all know how i always say y'all think we was born yesterday like they they know like they went through the same thing that we went through like everybody go through the same stage honestly and when my mama used to tell me stuff i just be like oh my god she getting on my nerves all this type of stuff but then all that stuff i started realizing oh no nah, she was for real now nah, i see what she talking about like i actually learned like my mom like sometimes i do have a moment still where i get mad when she yelled at me for simple things like yeah they simple but 
it's the reason why she telling you that or it's the reason why your parents telling you that um another thing that i learned is your business doesn't have to be told to everyone because I've learned that, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you feel like you have you had that friend, like that friend real that you could tell them something. But I had to learn that I can't really trust them. The only person I can really trust is my mom. That's how I say only person you could trust is your, is your, well, not, probably not you. But the only person I trust is my mom. Because I know some of them not gonna go and run and tell nobody, oh my daughter told me this, my daughter told me that. Like that's not something my mom will do. And as soon as somebody start being your friend, that's the first thing they're gonna tell everybody your business because they mad at you. My my thing is even if somebody gonna tell my business or tell a secret that I told them, I'm still not gonna go back and tell their business because that's not the person that's not the kind of person I am. So yeah another thing that i learned is um another thing i learned is to never take take things out on the person that is actually there for you and care for you just because somebody else did you wrong doesn't mean that you use that against the person that's actually trying to help you and talk to you and I learned that because I know that, for example, I know that my boyfriend, my mama, my dad, and my stepdad, my stepmom, etc., and my brothers and sisters, I know they're not going to leave my life and just do me wrong because, yeah, I just know that. So, I, I know they're not going to leave my life, so I actually take things out on them. Like, when I... When I'm mad about something, they're trying to talk to me. I get mad, and I'm I'm getting better at it. I ain't going to say I stopped, but I learned that I shouldn't do that because that's not the right thing because then, yeah, you hurt, but you actually hurting somebody else that's trying to help you. Another thing that I learned is... Love somebody the same way they love you. Care for somebody that cares as much as you care about them. Um, because actually, I used to give, I used to care about so many people that didn't even really care about me. That used me. Um, for example. Like, when somebody, when you come to school with food, that's all they want from you. Nah. A lot of people used to do that, but I used to know who really didn't need me, who really did. But, um, yeah. Okay, another thing that I learned is, okay, so I'm pretty sure every boy and every girl went through the stage where they talk to your somebody talked to your ex and you didn't like it or if y'all was cool and they talked to your ex honestly at this age it really doesn't matter it just depends on who you are but honestly Jacksonville no everybody dates the same person like for real for real. everybody dates the same person and for one we're young we're not like i said we don't know who we're going to be when we get older everybody just experiences and especially don't get mad if you um you don't even know the girl or know the boy yeah if you don't know the boy or know the girl why get mad like that wasn't your friend that wasn't you wasn't cool with that person. Y'all didn't grow up together or nothing like that. So I hate that. Like, And then y'all get mad when 
your boyfriend or your girlfriend cheating and you get that you get mad at the person that they cheating with the person you should be getting mad at is the boy or the girl that's cheating on you or your boyfriend or your girlfriend because you know like they want to cheat on you that person ain't know that that on oh, he was cheating on you because apparently they can't cheat on too because he with you too or she with you too but yeah i learned that because I mean, we all young, like I said. What's the point of getting mad? Ain't like y'all gonna y'all know that y'all gonna be together forever, like. But only thing I can say is, if that was your friend, or if y'all cool, or associated, or something like that, at least go and talk to the person. And like, make sure okay, yeah, it's cool. Ain't ain't gonna be no problems, stuff like that. Just at least talk to the person first, though. I ain't gonna lie. And yeah, I mean, I did it before, but the difference between like that and me, like, it wasn't like, oh, I'm trying to talk to this person to make you mad and stuff like that. I never do that. Like, mm -mm. um, another thing I learned is don't run the social media for everything. So. I always have a problem with going to social media like when we need the event and stuff like that now these days nobody do not care how you feel they just find something to talk about and send to their group chat because you know instagram got all these instagram got all these new features on there and i used to sometimes vent to instagram but i had to learn like that they ain't gonna do nothing for me they not gonna help me they not finna give me no good advice they just they just want to send it to their friends find something to talk about and i ain't gonna lie the other day so instagram got this close friends thing now so like you can add only the people you want to see in it like you only yeah and me and my boyfriend we got into it no, we ain't getting into it. It's just that I felt some type of way because, you know, this whole little quarantine thing going on. So, you're not really seeing your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, stuff like that. And I haven't seen my boyfriend since. I don't know. And, of course, I miss him. So, like, I posted something to my close friend. But it was never like, oh, I'm being rude. Like, I'm mad at him. It was just how I felt. And he texted me and he was like, um why do you have to post that and stuff like that and i could do nothing but say okay and i'm sorry because i knew i was wrong like they're not finna do nothing for me like they're not finna give me no advice they finna just look at it or they either finna go send it to their friends or just mm, some people might give you advice and text you to check on you and stuff like that and i have a couple friends that do that but yeah I learned my lesson with that. Um, that was nine. I'm on ten. Another thing that I learned. Another thing I learned is materialistic things doesn't really matter. Like they, it's fun to have and stuff like that, but mm -mm. I don't really care for it. That's it. That's all. I mean, like, yeah, I have a lot of materials today, but I don't really care for it like that. Like, it's not like I'm going to cry about it because I want it. Stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I learned, too. This one right here. I've learned that your relationship isn't just about... Damn, I forgot what I was going to say. I've also learned that you can't let people get between your relationship. Like, if you know it's real in your relationship, like your boyfriend, your girlfriend is there and they're not going to hurt you and they know the same, you shouldn't let nobody get between your relationship. If it's that one friend that's messing up your relationship, or just doing things purposely just to get y'all to argue, to 
break y'all up stuff like that let that person go because like at that point it's what matters is making your girlfriend or your boyfriend happy and yeah like it ain't like oh i'm gonna let them, i'm gonna let them go we gonna stop being friends we can't be cool no it's just you need to distance yourself and you need to get them straight like if you're gonna be doing this then i don't think we can i don't think we should be cool um and stuff like that like yeah um 12 12 learn what i learned is learn where your girlfriend is for example this break like it's crazy because like you think this be your friend but then like because y'all talk in school all the time y'all always together but during this break i have all the people i really talk to i don't really talk to them like, like that like they don't call me they don't text me and even when like if i call a text first all the time they don't they'll text but like it's not always like they reaching out to you too or doing the same thing or uh, giving that same energy that you giving them like this break that taught me who my real friends is like oh yeah like they just associate they just people that i'm cool with because of school like yeah 13 um another thing that i learned is once that person so once a person do you wrong and show their true colors let them go let them go because all it's going to do is bring toxic to your life it's going to bring you depression it's going i don't know it's going to ruin your life because then you keep de dealing with this with this toxic person and you allow them to bring you down and stuff like that i learned that and yeah Yes, I know. But nah, can't get to you now, cause like, mm -mm. that sounds so ghetto. <laughs> and fifteen. Oh. So the fifteenth thing that I've learned, baby, only person that got you is you. Only got myself, and that's forever. I don't know about everybody else. I don't know if they got me forever. But I know I got myself forever. And I'm the only person that can make me happy. Dang. I would have said, well, whatever. This is going to be the 15th thing to me. I forgot. Alright. I forgot all about to say. Alright. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another videos. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at prettymari underscore. Make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat at queenmari04. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok at prettymari underscore 04. And if you want to follow my spam, y'all can follow me at itsmarispam. And we're out.